Welcome everyone to this video. I'm Karen Eiten here, business coach, small business coach, and sewing shop coach. I love helping people. And today we're gonna to be talking about uh, 10 questions that you should be asking yourself if you're ready to start your small business or your sewing shop from home. So I have these 10 questions that um, you might wanna take out a sheet of paper and pen and you could start writing these questions because these will really be important questions to you if you're considering working from home you're considering starting a small business um, and it can really help you to start organizing your time and um, be able to start putting things in place to make it a reality right so we all love working from home i've worked from home for years um, it was really awesome when my boys were young and i could see them go to school i could see them come back home and I could, you know, create and, and schedule my own hours. And it's just wonderful. I still work from home. I still run a coaching business. And I also run an alteration shop, which is getting busy. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'd love to help you too. So number one, these are 10 questions to ask yourself if you're looking to start your own sewing shop or small business. Okay. So number one <clears throat> is do more for your business than you talk about right you want to do do hands-on do do start implementing start doing right there's so many people that i talk to yes i'd like to start a business one day yes i'd like to start a business one day yes it's my dream to start a business one day oh i would love to have my own business to work from home oh i would love to get off of the highway and just not go into corporate i would love to uh work from home and create my own income yes but you know what they don't start doing. You have to start doing to make it a reality, okay? So number two, do you have a passion for what you want to offer in your shop? So do you really have a passion for what you wanna offer, either product-wise or service-wise? Um, do you have a passion to you know, create the products that you wanna create? Do you have a passion to offer a service of what you wanna offer? Um, you really wanna love what it is you're doing. You will be so much more successful if you really enjoy doing what you do. So number four is, do you have the supplies to get started in your shop or small business? Do you have everything already at home that you could start a business out of? Do you have all the supplies that you would need? Uh, you know, do you have everything? Um, you know, and if not, start making a list, what you have, what you need, right? So you can start little by little creating or, or collecting what it is else, what it is you need. So then number four, do you have the space to create a shop in your home? So do you have that front porch, extra bedroom, basement, a uh, huge area in your living room? Um, or take away your dining room and, and create it in your dining room. Where can you create your workspace or your garage, you know? So start thinking about what space you want to use and will it be sufficient for right now? Will it be sufficient to run, be able to run your business there? And then number five, do you have the skills and knowledge to start your shop? So do you have all the skills, education, and knowledge to be able to start the type of shop or business that you want to start? Do you have all of it? Do you, are you already geared up and ready to go, right? You can start implementing right away. And if you don't, start writing a list of what it is you need next, what it is you're looking for. You know, start putting it on paper. Yes, I have, you know, my product that I want to create and sell, but I don't have how I can sell it online. I don't know anything about, you know, the computers. I don't know how I can start selling it. Okay. So just start to see and visually see where your holding spot is, where you're stumped and where you're stuck. So we can start helping you to get unstuck and to start moving your dream forward. So then number six, is do you have the money to get started in your small shop or your, your small business? 
Do you have enough finances to maybe buy some more supplies that you really need? Uh, maybe get some fabric that you really need. Uh, you know, maybe a cutting table, maybe an industrial iron, maybe an industrial sewing machine. What is it you really need to see this come full force, right? What is it you need? Start making a list of what it is you feel you really need. And then number seven is, can you offer your product or service productively? This is huge. I know so many people who want to work from home, right? They want to get off the highway. They want to work from home. They want to be able to create and make an income from home, see their family more, take vacations when they want, set their own hours, create their own revenue, right? But they are not productive enough to work from home, right? They have to go to that job because they know in their head that they are not productive enough to make money, right? You have to be productive. You cannot afford to spend all your time on one product in one day. You have to be able to make multiple products in a day. You have to be able to offer a service and be so productive at it that you can see money walking, coming in and then the customers going out the door all in the same day. You know, you have to be able to turn around that dime, right? So you have to think about that if you're productive enough. If you're not, you need to start doing some time study. You need to start speeding up your, your production line, right? And find out where your fault is, where it is you lack that you need a little bit more help to get better at it, right? Maybe a little more schooling, maybe a little bit more sewing skills or something like that. Number eight is do you know where you can go to get help with what you don't know? So maybe there's some part of it that you don't know, right? Maybe you don't know how to sell products online. Maybe you don't know how to run the computer. Maybe you don't know how to set up your own website. That's fine. Find out what it is and be able to, um, my notes are just flying all over, sorry. Find out what it is and then just, you know, start working towards it so you're able to get better at what you want to know, what you need to know, right? So, and then get educated. If you need more education, you need coaching, find out what it is and start looking for someone to help you with that, right? People are wonderful at wanting to help you. So, number 10 is do you have a written business plan in place? Maybe you don't have a a um, professional one in place yet, but you could do just a small one yourself. Write it on a sheet of paper, type it out, however you choose. And um, just write out what it is your goals are, where it is you're gonna work, what it is you're gonna offer, who your clients will be, you know, all these different things, all the different things and supplies that you have to put this into place, um, how you're gonna run your business, what your vision is of running your business, how do you wanna see your vision, how do you wanna see your business ran, and um, what it is you wanna offer, what it is you wanna stand for, right? Um, so start putting all that on paper as well. So number 10 and our last one is, do you know the right steps uh, to take to get your shop or small business uh, up and going? So do you know the steps that you need to take? Maybe you feel really stuck right now and I can understand that feeling really stuck. I can remember when I first started my first alteration business, I felt stuck too. I felt like, you know, I feel good about what I know. I know my product or my service is excellent. I know I can produce. I know I can talk to customers. I know I can, you know, ring the cash register. I know I can do all the whatever written work it goes along with it, bookkeeping, payroll, whatever. I know all that. I can do that stuff. But do I have the right service that people will want? You get a little bit like worried, scared. Do I have what it takes, right? Am I good enough? Do I, can I offer enough? Will I be the best out there? Will I be able to really create the income I desire to make, right? All these questions start going through us and you know, you have to at some point say, you know what? I've been on hold long enough. I wanna make a difference for my boys. I wanna make a difference for my family. I wanna start bringing in and creating the revenue that I deserve 
because I know this knowledge and I'm gonna damn well do it, right? So that's what you want to, um, that's what you want to do. You want to be able to, you know, know the steps. So write it out. Do you have the right steps that it's going to take? Do you already have a product? Do you already have your supplies? Do you have your location? Write it out what it is you do have. Write it out what it is you need. So when you're looking online and you're scrolling online and you see a really great coach on there, or you see somebody offering something that you know you need to get you to that next level, and you should reach out to them, right? when they can get you from where you are stuck to that next level. You know, I had another business, I had a business, um, you know, a couple professionals that helped me get from unstuck to like, throw it in my face, this is what we're doing and you're doing it right now, right? Get your tax ID within the next couple days, right? That's how fast I had to move and make a decision. And it all worked out for me. For 25 years, it worked out for me, right? Took four years off, now I'm back at it again, teaching you how you can do the same thing. Create the income you deserve, live the lifestyle you want, right? Be able to see your family and friends more, right? Um, and you can do it too. All it takes is a little bit of planning it out, a little bit of doing, right? You have to do, you have to be a hard worker. You have to want it for yourself. You have to want more for your children to get to that next level and to be able to be empowered to support yourself and gain your own darn independence, right? Don't rely on a man. Don't rely on people to give you things. Don't rely on the government. Don't rely on other people. Do it for yourself. You will feel so empowered and feel so good about yourself, right? So anyway, I'm going to go now. Uh, that's the end of the video. But anyway, I really would love to be your coach. I'd love to help you along the way and to be able to offer you a really great program to get you from where you are now to where you want to go, right? To start earning that income that you desire. So reach out to me. Go ahead and like this video and uh, subscribe. My algorithm really needs it. I really need some some subscribers out there to keep this channel going and uh, i would appreciate all of you i love you pray for you and god bless you all and thank you so much i'll talk to you in the next video bye bye now